Hi there, welcome to Art. So at Flybrook, we like to look at the work of other artists for inspiration. And one of my favorites, especially when my children were little, is the artist Mary Cassatt. Mary Cassatt never had any children of her own, but she was able to capture the love in families better than any other artist I know. She captured mothers and children doing everyday things and just enjoying being together. So, as Mother's Day approaches, it's a nice thing to do to make a picture of your mother and yourself. And stay tuned, I'll show you how. So like Mary Cassatt, we're gonna make a picture of a mother and a child, and let's make it your mother and you. And we're going to do it with collage and paint, like this. For this project, you're going to need your sketchbook or a piece of white paper, a glue stick, um, a black outline marker like a Sharpie, your colored pencils, your paintbrush, your paints, and a cup of water. You'll also need ovals in two sizes. And you were able to pick these out at school. Pick out a skin color that's close to yours and your mother's. Um, on mine, I used a, a kind of a darker shade, a little brown. Today, I think I might use this color so we can see what the two different ones look like. I have a, a big oval and a little oval. And if you want, maybe you might have another oval for someone else in your family. I'm gonna do just two today. So the first thing I have to figure out is where am I gonna put them? I'm gonna glue them down. I think I'll have the mother here and the child here, maybe even sitting on her lap. I like how that looks, so I'm gonna glue that down. Ooh, and I have a brand new glue stick that didn't wanna open. How nice, it's brand new. All around, put that down. I might even tip the head a little bit. Maybe the child is looking up at the mother. There we go. There we go. So now, I have my faces on the paper. So next I have to add the details. I think I'm going to start with the body. I'm going to draw my neck and the top of my shoulders. Then the mother is probably behind, so that'll be the hop-over trick will go behind. Go like this. If you want, you can be like me and make the arm reach around and give her child a hug. And I'm just gonna do it like that. Now, those people look kind of faceless, so I need to add eyes, nose, and mouth. The eyes are located about in the middle of your head. I'm gonna have two eyes there. Mom's eyes go about like that. I can have them open. On the child, maybe I'm gonna have them closed. You decide, what do you like? I think I'll do eyebrows because they help me figure out the nose. A nose and a mouth. Looking very peaceful. Eyebrows, a nose facing the child because she's looking at her child and a mouth. You can do a line and add a top lip and bottom lip or you can do just a big smile. Of course, I have dots in my open eyes. And now, what about the hair? Maybe this hair goes like this. I'm gonna paint this later, so don't worry that part of it looks white. Maybe mom's hair comes down like this. Does she have long hair? Does she have short hair? Does she have curly hair? Does she have straight hair? You have to quietly look at your mom to see what she looks like. Don't let her know we're doing this. It's gonna be a surprise. Okay, so I have the start, and it looks kind of funny. Now I'm gonna add some color. Before I start, before I get anything wet, I'm going to put the whites of mom's eyes here. And I'm not going to try to color in the eyes with paint because you know what might happen? It would smear. I'm going to use my colored pencil to do the eyes. So this mom has blue eyes and I think I'm going to put a little darker color in there too. I like that better. I'm mixing it. Okay, I think I will even give her some pink cheeks to make her look kind of healthy and happy. And I did it on the brown one too, just a little bit of pink shows through. I'm gonna give the child some pink cheeks as well. Okay, so now it's time to add more color and you can do this with your paint set. Get the colors you want wet. I think I need some brown and black for the hair. 
maybe some red. I know I want some yellow. Think about your mom's favorite color. Does she love purple? If she loves purple, then you're gonna wanna get your purple wet so you can give her a purple dress. Let's start with the hair. The brown works well because it covers it right up. Now I am going to try some yellow for the blonde hair and see if it will cover up enough. We all have to find out. We might have to do some problem solving. Well, that's working. I might put a little bit of brown in it because blonde hair often has streaks of brown in it. And there you go. So you get the idea. You're going to take your paints. You're going to paint in the clothing. Take your time around the edge. Put your brush on tiptoe. Stay tuned. I'll do this in fast forward. Now when your picture is done, you may want to add some detail to the background. And you can do that with paints. You might want to paint some little dots or flowers on the background. You could also use crayons to put some design in the background. Or let's say you wanted to add some designs on the shirt. It's always nice to add a little pattern. Think about what you like and what your mom would like and add that. Now for the hands, since it's really hard to mix up the paint colors with what we have, I've given you a little hand. You pick out the color that matches the face. On this one, I've got kind of a peach color. This one's a little bit darker brown. So have fun. Add color and detail. Don't forget to sign your work and maybe write with love. It will make a wonderful present to give to your mother. And when you're finished with your picture, before you give it away, would you go to Add Response and take a photo of your work? Click on the check to send it to me. I can't wait to see it.